Other news tonight, if you don't see that telltale bullseye rash after being bit by a tick, there's a very good chance you'll never even know you were exposed to Lyme disease. For many, including News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla, a diagnosis comes along after those early symptoms show up, leading to months, even years of chronic fatigue, headaches, hot flashes, joint pain, and brain fog. Tonight, Nicole shows us what living with Lyme looks like and how she's hitting back, determined to beat this disease. My mornings start like this. Come on. A strict regimen of antibiotics and supplements, curcumin to help with joint pain, probiotics to support good gut bacteria, and bee pollen to build my immune system. So I woke up today not really feeling that great. I have a sore throat, headache, kind of feels like a hangover. So I'm gonna take this propolis throat spray, high Dakota. It's supposed to help build up the immune system. I have Lyme disease, but I try not to let it stop me. And I stay as active as I can, surrounding myself with support. How do you digest and take this in and, and process what happened in Aurora? And throwing myself into my work. I'm Nicole Smavilla. Thanks for joining us. This often debilitating disease isn't unique to me. Hundreds of thousands of people have Lyme. And because of its vague symptoms like fatigue, joint pain, headaches, and sore throats, it can go undetected for years. It took four years for me to find my diagnosis. And when I finally did, the focus turned to treatment. I get my blood drawn more than 50 times a year. Get weekly injections. <laughs> Great, I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> and stay focused on getting my health back. Nicole, uh, quite an ordeal you've been through. What does this mean to you personally to share this story of your disease with the, our News Channel 9 viewers? Well, you know, Ron, it was really important to me because I care so much about this community, and there are so many people who don't know what they might be dealing with. Perhaps it's Lyme, and I want people to know what's out there, be able to protect themselves and get the right treatment. And I think with any chronic illness or autoimmune disease, it's important to talk about those difficult times because it can help bring joy and happiness, and it can also help others. And to anybody who is dealing with some type of disease, know that you're not alone, and there are people there who will support you. And that's why I'm also very open about my journey on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, because I do want to remind people that they are not alone, and everyone is dealing with a battle. Good information. All right, and um, so much to learn. Um, and it's really hard to diagnose, and that's the thing. You got to really stick with it yeah, and the trust symptoms your can instincts. Be so vague. And, and disguise as something yeah. else. So just, you know, it's an amazing, incredible journey. We're learning so much. If you want to learn more, please go to localsyr.com or the News Channel 9 app. Check out our Living with Lyme page. We have a whole page dedicated to it. Links for resources for those who want to learn more about Lyme disease, preventative measures you can take to protect yourself from tick bites, and links to Nicole's social media page as well. Nicole, thank you again for sharing and helping us learn so much more. Well, thank you guys this. for being so yeah. supportive and helping yeah. me share this story with all of you and hopefully help some people along the way. We're here for Very you. Good. You thank know you. that. News